So the last one here states, ladies and gentlemen, we have x squared, um, x, x to the fifth minus 5x cubed plus 4x equals 0. So what we did last class was I showed you guys some factoring techniques. The first important thing, guys, is we always want to see, can we factor out a GCF? Can we factor out a common factor? And you look at all these, and you say, yeah, they share something. What do they share, though? Does anybody want to raise their hand? Yes. X. They share an x. So we factor out an x. So if I factor out an x, I'm left with x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4 equals 0. Right? So again, ladies and gentlemen, you have a product equal to 0. So you can set those both equal to 0 by using the zero product property. So you have x equals 0 and x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4 equals 0. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is still something that needs to factor. We still need, we can't solve for x like this. So what I told you guys to do is when you have a, when you have a polynomial to a higher power, notice I can't factor anything else out, right? So what I said was look at, think of it as like a quadratic. If it's a trinomial, think of it like a quadratic. So if I wanted to just factor x squared minus 5x plus 4, if I was just going to factor that, I could factor, did anybody, a lot of people got this, got this one factored. The factored form of this would be what two numbers multiply to give you 4, add to give you negative 5. Answers are x minus 4 times x minus 1. Right? So we could factor that like that. However, ladies and gentlemen, does x times x give you x to the fourth? No. So what power should I raise these to? Squared. And guess what? That works now. x squared times x squared gives you x to the fourth. Negative 4 times negative 1 gives you positive 4. Negative 4 times x squared plus negative 1 times x squared gives you negative 5x squared. Now I can apply the zero product property again. So I'd say x squared minus 4 equals 0 and x squared minus 1 equals 0. Now we just simply solve for x. So I have x squared equals 4, x squared equals 1. Square root, square root, square root, square root. Remember, whenever you introduce the square root, you have to take the positive and the negative. So my final answer is x equals 0, x equals plus or minus 2, and x equals plus or minus 1.